and they want to put I don't want you wearing a two week, yeah. two week um, opportunity for the parties to get back together. Just for a brief second, so I know that they called the police. Carry and on. And get the kids back to school while that's all happening. But they haven't brought anything to the table. The last time they met over the weekend, the BCTF. Dropped if you don't want to be in it, I wouldn't stand there. The government didn't bring anything. They they have this E80 clause that would undo undo any court rulings. So, how do you think a union will will stand? Will say sure, anything that we want in courts now we're going to give it up? Why would we do that? So, so you you're putting there's no negotiation, right? Why don't you come in? Yeah. We'll get your name. Yes. And let's why don't you just down. answer the question, and Jane? But and why we can don't talk. you why don't you answer a question? Because you you guys are trying to hide. You know, like yesterday all your offices across the province seem to have been closed. Everybody took a holiday. And I understand. You know, you guys have to protect yourselves and, and I'm not coming here to have a, a tirade or anything. I'm here for questions and for answers. I have three kids in the system. Grade nine, grade seven, and grade two. Okay, I'm really concerned. I'm really concerned, and I've seen, I've seen the system, how it's dropped in terms of the quality of education, in terms of academic performance of these kids. I've seen it. Okay, and and so it's really hard you to, to know. Her? To, she doesn't want to be You know, we it. have a move. budget. Uh, for for right, intermediate for uh, you know you've been on the pack we have what ten thousand dollars for what fifteen classrooms that's what a thousand five hundred per classroom for the year Jane and so in sorry five year plans for items that we'd like it could take more so than maybe five years in to get three years new. we can get dictionaries at Sherwood this Park classroom. at Sherwood Park the computers were so out of date in the cube computer lab the solution was to close the computer lab rather than update the computers. It's 2014 and my kids don't learn on a computer. This is the, this is the system that you think is great that you've created. Your vote on the budgets over the years that you've been in office are in favor of what is going on. So why don't we sit down? Why don't we have an appointment we can talk about this? Why don't you answer the questions that people that are asking? Well. But what kind of materials? Yeah, Garbage from the Liberal Party. Why don't you answer the questions that the people are asking? Jane, it's not hard. That's your job as a politician. What's your question, Jonathan? It's not my question. It's what I'm just filming. My, my question right now is why is there not sufficient funding so that we can have textbooks so that kids don't have time, to right? share? I, in a reasonable I don't way. know the answer to that question as far as this particular school. Um, it's not this particular said, school, Jane. It's the system. So you're saying all school? I don't know. There is well, a systemic but Why problem. don't you know? That's I don't know the individual schools and what the individual schools get as that, far as equipment. How about in North Vancouver in general. General. general? There's a systemic issue. I mean, we're, we're school districts have to look at selling properties to be able to pay things off to create seismic upgrades for certain schools or to even build or finish building schools. Like the Argyle situation where we have to get rid of regional oh, annex, we have to get rid of schools that were 80% full like Chrome to be able to fund these things. Now, I, with those particular decisions that you're talking about, have you talked to the school trustees? Yeah. I have read the material from the school yeah. trustees. And they, you know, there was one that had even written into the North Shore News. And basically it said it wasn't the case, but it was the case. Like, it's guaranteeing their, their loan from, from the bank. So technically they loaned money from the banks to pay for Argyle to be upgraded. But in the end, where are they going to pay that loan off with? From selling other properties. And what does that say for the teacher who has a two and four year old who haven't entered the school system yet? That whether there's a bump com coming, if there is a bump coming, it's just going to be like Lynn Valley School. They're just going to keep building out portables, which they should be getting rid of. I teach in a portable. It's been there since like 1970s. I have teaching colleagues that were out in those portables. It's probably full of asbestos. Just like the annexes. So, so um, I do have a history on the school board, yeah. so I can answer some of those yeah. questions as, as to how the, process, yeah. how the process works. Um, I'm not on the board now. So I'm not necessarily up to do up to date with you know the most recent decisions, but I can certainly sit down and talk to you about how those decisions are made. Definitely, well, and I've done uh, surveys, and I you know, I did the survey for Cloverly, which is really close to my house, like five minutes away, by walking, and it was all for development. It's like, well, would you like to retain the green space if it's developed? Would you like to see it for public use? if it's developed. And there's no question of like, well, what about considering the fact 15 years down the line when my kids are you know, school age that they might you know, 
would like to come really near, 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 near part of school instead of having to go 15, 20 minutes to my drive. I, I totally understand what you're saying. My, my neighborhood totally school was Parkgate, and you closed it down just recently. Mm -hmm. It was closed down, and it's actually being transformed into a private school. Yeah. I totally understand what you're saying. Um, it's a Christian private school, yeah. And as I said, yeah. those decisions are made at the school board mm -hmm. level. Um, but I can I can help you with that, and I can tell you how those that process is made and who you're supposed to be talking to. The system because you guys are part of is it is so crushing. But the, in, but the individual school laid district. off, having classes talked up. Oh, and we have oh we can move that kid from that school, and then they'll have thirty, and that'll be just right, and then we can close that school. Or if you know oh you know there's twenty three, we should kind of tell everybody they can drive 10, 15 minutes longer so they can come drop their kid here because there's no place at their school. I don't think neighborhood schools should be. Do you want to ask a question, Ethan? The priority. I agree okay. with kids are walking to their schools. Classrooms shouldn't have to be full all the time. It shouldn't be the mentality. Resources a lot there that shouldn't I agree be with. the same resources. When I got to be a teacher, it was the same stuff in the classroom when I was a kid. And I was just appalled. And then making a plan for it to actually, you know, there's textbooks we bought. We're finishing buying last year that are now moot because of the curriculum changes. Yeah. And it's just... Are, is there money attached to the curriculum changes? No. I went to Sherwood Park. All across the board. They've changed, you guys have decided so, to change all of it in one go. I went to Sherwood Park, Jane. And we're going to set up some appointments for folks. Jane, I went to Sherwood Park, and my classroom, which is where my son was last year, is the same paint. So it hasn't been painted in 40 years. Oh, it's a 30 year rotation. There's rotation it's ridiculous. So Nick's going to take, Nick's going to take everybody's name and number and your email, and we're going to set up appointments. We're not going to set up individual you? appointments. The point I don't mind yeah. setting up come, individual come appointments. See, I see everybody. Can you come to our turf and come, yeah. come up to Ross Road School. Yeah. I, I've been to Ross Road. I'd love to come again. Are you okay. showing up on September 9th for your uh, Parkgate uh, Park Community Center uh, forum? Are you going to show up for that? Jonathan, I, I I'm asking you a point blank question. Are you going to go? I I advertise them. Mm -hmm. They're my joint. You're talking about my joint, Jane. Yeah, yeah. I'm always there, John. Okay, so so this this one coming up because this one's going to be really big. I'm sure you're going to show up for it. You're not going to have a meeting or something else that comes up in the way. You're going to actually be there. I'm always at my joint day. Perfect. So again, I'll ask, yes or no, this one that is coming up, will you be there? Jonathan, I've answered that question now three times. I always am at my joint day coffee. So that's a yes. You will be there. Yes. Perfect. Are you going to bring a whole bunch of protesters? Absolutely, Jane. You know what? We're, we're not protesters. We're, part we're of parents. The I'm we're, a parent. But I'm a parent. It doesn't seem to bother you. You know what? It's How really, you know that? Really? Then do something about it. Yes. You're, in, you're yes, the one of all of us parents that are so here. Nice. Why don't you get their names and we're going to sit down so and you know have what? I'm, You're not answering. I'm, I'm asking you why. I'm, I'll give you my name, but what do you need to our because names? We're getting our I, answers. What I would like, We're no, I'd like to sit answers. down with you yes. and, 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 and get into more detail with the questions and the concerns and the, the very legitimate items that this woman has brought up that I'd like to discuss because I do have a history this, as to how this, these decisions was, were made. Was an appointment not made at I made an appointment for today for 2.30. No, he yes. did not make an appointment. Absolutely. I made an appointment with this gentleman this morning. No. The situation with you in the morning is completely different than these, than these ladies. I made an appointment with you this morning at 2.30 to meet no. with Jane. Absolutely, I did. As a matter of fact, Jonathan, this is why again, I'm so glad. Jonathan, again, Can I finish? I'm arguing with you again. The situation with you in this morning is different than these uh, ladies who have come today. This is exactly why I'm so glad I record these yeah, meetings. I, I don't want to get into a full thing. It was the, the way he came in. It was very mm. aggressive and stuff. That's why the constables here and stuff. So I was angry. Yeah. Wow. Well, because my kids aren't in school. Yeah, Go figure, right? Yeah. I think sometimes the thinking is if several of us come, rather than the same concerns being repeated over and over again. And then it you, would be more efficient for you. And then perhaps it's an opportunity to just, you know, be more have, efficient. have the conversation once rather than multiple times over. We'd all like our, our teachers in school and we'd all like our kids in school. When we hear that the government won't even either legislate teachers back to school, they want to, it sounds like they're starving the teachers into submitting to a, a deal. The fact that the Premier doesn't think it's an important enough thing to legislate the Assembly back early to deal, to, to consider the I'll matter, think about it. doesn't create the impression that that education really matters, and to all of us here, it really matters. And we, you know, whether you believe in private school or not, a lot of us couldn't afford it even if we did. Yes. You know, we really, really need education. And the government is, that's one of the mandates of the provincial government, is to provide our children with education. And so, quality education. It's protected by the UN. Yes. It's protected by the United Nations. Mm -hmm. 
which we we abide by and you're not you're 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 you're, you're breaking international law it's 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 criminal what you guys are doing you know so we, well, sorry so i just want to add something you know in our curriculum we have about you know social responsibility i need my appointment time for next it's week it's like one of the huge she components agreed to it, so i need we have it. to teach Thank our you. kids i'm a teacher as well so here i'm in the classroom trying to teach these kids about social responsibility okay being involved in your community okay helping each other out building a stronger future for everybody here i'm trying to teach these kids about this I teach these kids at home all the time, and I get very upset when If you don't want to be uploaded, I wouldn't. I, 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 social, I'm, I'm videotaping Jane. You just happen to be in the shot. Social responsibility is not, is not a, a, a priority. You know, I, I come from Europe, and I came here 26 ago, years ago, and Canada stands up, you know, for, for all those things. But that is eroding, I can tell you. Yeah. And these $40 a day, you know, are we looking at a voucher system? Is that where you guys are taking us without telling us? And that's what's been happening. It's like things just creep up. Oh, they'll get used to it, and then there we go, voucher system. Exactly what's happening you know, with the and the Is that really what you stand for? School boards have just cut it's it. very like, upsetting. gone along with what the government's done. They've just decreased the amount gone into public education. People School boards have coped and coped and coped. And finally, it's nice to hear from some trustees and from some boards that they can't cope anymore. Like this ridiculous situation with layoffs that even happens in North Vancouver, perhaps less extent for other school districts. But like have, saying goodbye to teachers and then welcome back when it's just like, oh yeah, there's space for you. We you know filled up all the classes. It turns out there's a few kids left, so you can get hired back. It's just a, a ridiculous system to have it work that way. At one point at Ross Road School, we were going to lose one of the divisions in English. We only have kindergarten one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So losing one, what does that mean? We put a split in simply because there's one number shy. And the way the boards work with having like this district, um, what do we call it, medium or average, district average, and then we all kind of have to shift and juggle numbers around so that it's, you know, but it's not too high, but high enough in classrooms. It's just ridiculous. I just, can't believe just, that it's gotten so bad. And to think that is when I was becoming a parent and having kids and looking at the development going, oh, good, they seem like they're on average target. They're not going to need, you know, to be, you know, disabled or they're not going to have any educational issues because if they went to the system as it is today, being a teacher, I would worry about the interventions they would get, the support that they would get. And it shouldn't be, I shouldn't be thinking that way. Well, Parents I shouldn't I'd be thinking that They should know to, that to society Rossborough. is going to support yeah, their children. It's not open, Jane. It's <laughs> closed. Why don't you make that commitment after you've opened it? Come to Sherwood Park. Come to Sherwood Park. I would love for you to come and talk to the kids and explain to them why they're not in school or why their school year is short. I've, I've been to Sherwood Park too. I would, no, I, not now because it's closed, Jane. Just like every other school is closed. Except the private schools that you fund. You fund $7,000 per child in a private school system. So right now we're in a system where you're paying for private schools but not public schools. Awful. It's a shame. You should be ashamed. The government has made a decision. Don't give me talking points, Jane. Don't give me talking points. I'm so sick to God of hearing talking points on the news and the spam that you guys are putting out all over, all over media saying how awful the teachers are. These people educate our children. They're the future taxpayers. They're looking after you when you go into a home. Seriously, you're gutting them. So Jonathan, mm -hmm. again, we'll have to agree to disagree on a lot of those points. Um, but with the folks, the other folks, I'd love to have you come in and we can sit down and if you want to come as a, um, as a group or whatever, we'll get Alicia and Nick to set it up. And, uh, Jane, also, back. sorry, yeah. you did say that I could have an appointment next week so that I can serve you with papers, right? Yes. Thank I you. I haven't got that so appointment yet. That it feels like you guys are struggling education. It, 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 you guys are killing public education as it, yes. as it once was. And I can't believe the changes even within my lifetime. I'm not, you know, 35 and I, I went to school in North Vancouver. I went to Larson. I had a great experience. I remember the days when there was counselors in the schools. So, you know, unlike my students who say, Madame, can I see the counselor today? Oh no, honey. Two days from now, maybe you'll be able to see the counselor. Kids need it right away. When there was well, a nurse. Part-time librarian. Yeah. They need it. They need the stuff right away. Yeah. No, you 
can't go to the library. <laughs> you can't go to the library because you know they have straight classes to cover. You know, prep time. So let's, Jane. let's do that because I've got to go take my kids Jane. to an appointment. Sorry, one quick so, second. If a child needs counseling because they're having problems at home or problems with their with their schoolwork, they can't wait until Friday when the counselor is in. They need it right away. They probably need help. And they're not getting that help. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you about my school. So my kindergarten, grade at five years old, last year, had no adult supervision in classrooms at lunch. What happens if they choke? The, the, the um, grade four student, do they know CPR? Do they know, do they know the Heimlich maneuver? They don't know. You're dangering our children with your policies. Jane, this is what you're doing. I don't understand how you can belong to this party and believe in what they're doing, believe in the good fight. It's not a good fight. No, it's not. No, I, I don't think this is a good fight at all. We don't want it this way either. You caused it. No, Your party I, caused I, I it. Jane, we'll have to this is I agree can't see it. To disagree. This is how it is though, Jane. Your we'll party have to caused agree it. To disagree. Really? So, so Jonathan, mm -hmm. I've spent a lot of time with you. I'd really like to talk to these folks. Sure, absolutely. But right now, what I have to do is I have to take my own child to an appointment. So huh. what we'll do is we'll get you together in the next You make your appointments days. with your children during working hours? Is that how it works? Okay, I was just wondering. I will call you. I will get the office. One quick question, if you don't mind. And I recognize that this is a really difficult situation for you, as it is for all of us. Um, but my main, my main um, issue at the moment is that I'm finding that MLAs are not representing us at all, and they're being told not to interact with with teachers. Am I your MLA, or is you're, you are not my MLA? I live downtown, but I work at Ross Road, so you're the so MLA where I work. So who's your MLA? Um, my MLA is Sam Sullivan. Mm -hmm. So you should go also, visit him. I did. Um, okay. I did contact him, um, but in um, in for this region, my question to you is: What is it that you are doing specifically in order to help? This agreement go forward. Are you encouraging? Um, are you encouraging the liberals to negotiate in, in good faith? Are you like, are you doing anything to try? All of the MLAs or, are get feedback from all of their constituents, very yeah. similar to this, okay. and we pass that information on to the minister, to the premier, yeah. um, and the minister and the premier are in constant contact with the chief negotiator, who is Peter Cameron who's the one that is dealing with the um, president of the BC uh, Teachers Federation, Jim Miker. Yeah. And those are the people that make the decisions mm -hmm. on when they're negotiating and what they're negotiating. Yeah, it's really and, and we are, the MLAs, are kept mm -hmm. apprised as to what's going on. And I'm wondering whether or not you, you are doing that. Like, I, I just, am doing that. I, I do that every sure, day. Yeah, I just want but to not just in this issue. There's is lots of your message is definitely. So we can trust. We can trust <laughs> definitely. So we can trust that when we write to you to protest um, how the government is is uh, handling this, that you will pass it on. Absolutely, it always does. However, I'd like to point out because I know this because I've emailed Jane several times. All you get back is a form letter that comes from the same exact mm -hmm. rhetoric from every MLA. I know. So what I'm what I what I'm suggesting is because I, I do have to go is is that we'll contact you. You've got all of their um, contacts, and we'll get together and sit down. Okay. Could we set up as an you, appointment right now? Sure. As you sure, depart yeah. for your you child, I just want you to know that I have a two and four year old, and a three and a half year old, and I don't qualify for the four year old a day, uh, so there is no care. Yet I have to hold my daycare spaces. So then. I have two days a week that I'm continuing with, even though it's coming off a line of credit, and that I have to do that line of credit simply because I'm standing, you know, because of what I believe in. And I think that governments should be able to do that. They should be able to borrow, Shame. and they do Shame, that. Shame, Jane. And Shame. stand behind public education. You know, let's spend Shame. a little more than you plan. Darn. Because that's a better choice. That's the good choice for all the children for this province. Your policies so you did this. You make a good point with regards to the, the eligibility for the $40, and I would like to talk to you further about that. I would also like to know, when is that going to be paid? Well, I I know. Nothing for my son. When's that yeah, going to be paid? Do you know? I know. Yeah. I know. Um, and that's, that's yeah. a common concern. That we yeah. Yeah. And he's yeah. supposed to educate yeah. himself. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, um, sorry, Jane. One quick question again. We're, we're gonna Jane, have to one quick question. And we will yeah. Okay. I just want to know when the forty dollars is going to be paid. Email. Thank you. And uh, there, let's there get together and have a, have, a, have a sit down. Jane, yeah. I just like to know when the forty dollars is going to be paid out because the problem is if it's paid out after the strike is over, most parents, because of salary restraints and and the cost of living in North Vancouver, thank you for live week to week, live week to week. 
So therefore, they need that money before the end of the strike. So how is that going to work? Uh, my understanding is the Ministry of Finance will be giving that money at the end of the strike. So then people who live week to week that are, so that's really only going to help upper um, upper middle class and rich people because the majority of people can't afford it. Uh, my awesome. Understanding. Thanks, Jane. When's my appointment? So, When's my appointment? Set up an appointment? Set up right now. And it will be a group of people. No, I would like my appointment before I leave. To be honest with you, it's not a big deal. You have it right there. I need to see her next week. So we're going to talk to you like you've been here for quite a while. Mm -hmm. I just want my appointment and I'm out of here. So we'll talk to them and we'll email you when you're Seriously, just give me my appointment. You're not going to. And I know it. When is, can you just not set up an appointment? I need five minutes one day next week. It's not hard. You're, you're looking at her calendar. They budget from the government and they have to work with them. That's true. And, and you know what? I don't, I don't envy their position. I don't envy the principal's position. Uh, we have to cut LAC by 0.4. It's okay. I'll wait until budget. they're gone. So we can talk about that time. because Thank you. I, I, that's not the issue right now. The issue is that the funding from the top is not good enough. That's right. Okay. I don't want to put you in this. So let this can only do what they can. What they That's right. Yeah. My brother's a cop, so they need more money with the government and what the government is willing to send. Right. Absolutely. That's what we're interested in discussing. Sure. Let's talk about that. Yeah. All right. Thank Jane. You. Thank you. Jane. Thank you. Jane, I, I would just I'll like to get. For your appointment okay, but, they, but they, they're not giving it to me, and I would just like the 15-minute appointment so that I can leave you alone and you can go. Well, can you just ask them know. to give me? Can they you just ask it. them to give me? They will do can it. Can you just ask, right now? They're looking at your schedule, Jane. It's not hard. They will do it. It's not hard. They're looking they at your. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just gonna wait here then. Calm. I'm gonna wait here. I'm perfectly calm, Jane. You're not. I want my appointment. Thank you. You look great on cam. There's no can, you please, can you please stop it? Sure. Can I have my appointment time? And then I'm more? Sure, but I'm not waiting for an email. I'll wait till we're finished. Yeah.